Hi, and welcome to my YouTube channel, and welcome to this Life in Ireland podcast series. Today, I'm going to talk about my experience of living the life of an Asian expatriate here in Dublin, focusing on getting a job and finding a house. And hopefully, this will help you decide whether you'd like to move to this new city, either to settle or to find new opportunities of whatever kind. Just a little bit about myself before we get started. I've been living here in Dublin for the past seven years and had its ups and downs. And generally, I would say it's certainly one of the nicer cities here in Europe. And the city must be charismatic enough to keep me here for all this time, right? And uh, first thing first, let's talk about money before everything. As you need money to make a decent, decent living. And when I say money, I mean finding a job, as most people would definitely need to find one to get started. And finding a job will certainly be a um, easier for certain professions, as there are huge demands in these key industries for the likes of IT software, uh, like programmers and accountants. And it's going to be uh, the easiest for those professions. And Dublin is one of the central hub for software engineers due to the abundance of global IT companies, making Ireland its home, benefiting from the low tax rate at 12.5% to 15%. So for the likes of Google, Microsoft, Amazon, Facebook, all have made their home here in what we call the Silicon Republic of Ireland. And you can see plenty of jobs here on LinkedIn looking for skills like Python programming, C programming, front and backend developers, and many more. So for a junior developer salary, is around say, 40,000 euros per year and can quickly rise to 70 to 80K plus after a few years of experience. And on the other hand, if you are a qualified accountant, you'll also be in high demand. Ireland has one of the biggest fund administration industry in Europe. There are lots of positions starting from trainee or entry level funding, fund accountant role to more senior positions. There are also lots of opportunities for graduates in this industry in particular. So if you are just starting out on your career, this is a relatively easy industry to get into. And um, as a trainee or entry-level accountant, um, the employees tend to be supported by the employer with a professional qualification, such as the ACA, ACCA, or CIMA. And most employers would also provide study leave such as time off work or bonus if you pass the exam to assist with the learning experience. And if you are thinking about a career in accounting and finance, I definitely recommend taking on the study option for one of um, these professional qualifications. They will not only enhance your career to help you stepping up in your role, but also you'll make uh, your marketability later on much higher and it will be much easier for you to switch employer in the future. And a trainee accountant starts between 25K to 30K euros per year, but will quickly rise to 50K euros once qualified. Senior roles can command a salary in excess of 100,000 euros, which is pretty an eye-watering. Another big industry is the food manufacturing, food production industry, and due to the God bless natural environment here. Jobs in this sector is more challenging as there are relatively fewer foreigners or expatriates working in this sector. Opportunities still exist for new graduates from university if they wish to compete on a graduate training program. However, these tend to be extremely challenging and the competition with strong local candidates and positions available are very limited. Some of the very large indigenous employers with a global brand in this sector, including the Kerry Group and Columbia. And they both run a grad program and the application starts every year around September and close the following year, February time. And so if you want to apply for a graduate program, you better start early around September time. And another huge sector in Ireland is the pharmaceutical, pharmaceutical production industry. Most of the larger pharmaceutical companies have offices or manufacturing facilities here, such as Pfizer, Merck, or GSK, just to name a few. And positions in these companies tend to be very specific and very technical or R&D focused. 
But I would say again, the easiest position to obtain in these companies may be the accounting and finance position, as these skills tend to be highly transferable. Overall, I say the employment prospect in Ireland is excellent, especially for entry-level positions or graduates just out of university and wish to start their career here in Ireland. And I would recommend, um, certainly for graduates, focusing on the IT and the accounting industry due to the skill shortage in this area. After the pandemic, there's also a quite large shortage in the customer service sector, such as um, coffee shops, uh, restaurant retailer, and supermarkets. The minimum wage here in Ireland is still pretty high at 10.2 euros an hour for 20 years old and plus. And many employers also pay more than the minimum wage to attract candidates, uh, where you can see actually a lot of jobs would be advertising at around 15 euros per hour for the customer service sector. Um, as more people are working from home and also eating at their own home rather than dining out, Deliveroo has become a very popular app here in Ireland. So if you have a work permit, you can easily register an account with Deliveroo and they will send you all the gears you need. All you need is a bicycle and you'll be as fit as, as ever. Um, and you can do the earn as you ride so anytime as you like and be your own boss. So you never need to worry about um, when to work or uh, when to stop because you are the uh, at your own um, boss. But definitely, definitely a great part-time job option to consider. And even I have registered an account with them, although I've been quite lazy and never got started. So as a summary, um, the job market scoring, I would give Dublin an eight and out of 10 for its excellent career prospect, especially for um, entry-level graduates and the abundance of global companies here available in Dublin, plus the decent salaries that employees may potentially be able to command. And the next topic I'd like to talk about is housing. So many of you probably already heard a lot about finding a place to live in Dublin is pretty tough and challenging. And I confirm these are certainly true. It's been like these things I started uh, when I first moved to Ireland and has only got worse each year, year on year. And I think the best way to come to Ireland is to be transferred or relocated by your company, which will save a huge cost. I've been relocated to Ireland twice myself with my employer. So when I came over to Ireland, I was lucky, lucky enough to have the support from my previous employer each time. So it was certainly an easy task for me with some support on housing to get me started. If you need to find your own house in Ireland, the best source of information is daft.ie. So it's D-A-F-T dot I-E, where pretty much all the landlords will be advertising on this website. So in 2022, a nice double bedroom would cost probably around 900 euros per month, at least. And I know some people are on a tighter budget, so room sharing is probably a better option. And also it has been proven quite popular for the lower budget um, uh, tenants, this would effectively, effectively half the cost to 450 euros per month. If you have a place of your own, if you want to have a place of your own, or if you have a family, a small single room apartment in the city would probably be setting you back for at least 1600 euros. And a two bed apartment, you'll be budgeting around 2000 euros in an average neighborhood. So certainly, housing is not cheap. On the other hand, if you're thinking about buying, this is not easy either. The central bank rules they have a limit on the amount that you can leverage on your salary. The standard leverage ratio is three and a half times of your salary, or four times if you have a really strong credit. The average property will be starting at 400K for a two bed apartment in the south side of Dublin. So say on average salary of 50,000 per year, you will need around an eye-watering 200 grand cash deposit if you want to buy a place yourself. So certainly not an easy buy and not for everyone. The borrowing limit uh, set by the, the central bank has been the main driver for the recent rent increase due to the challenges on getting a mortgage. I'd love to talk more on these two topics and we'll try to answer any questions if you have. If you like the video, make sure to subscribe 
and be tuned in for the next episode about social and outdoor life here in Ireland.